Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here in Western Canada. I hope that all of you are having a fantastic weekend so far. I hope you're healthy, staying strong and productive. Students, this class is an IELTS uh, speaking part three, talking about being friendly. And this lesson, of course, again, is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS. That's where you want to go for general IELTS. You want to go to gieltshelp.com. Both of these websites have the materials that power these live lessons. And we use these websites regularly in these live classes to talk to students for practice exams, listening materials, reading materials. This is the academic website here with the blue background we will use this in a bit click this big red button just above my head to join the premium IELTS package we're an IDP affiliate a British Council partner and IELTS test registration center I'm a certified British Council agent this is our general IELTS website here with a green background. Again, just click that big red button there and you are off to the races. Uh, when you click that button, you can use the code CHOICE9 for a 10% discount. The price of uh, the course is different in different countries, so check out how much it costs in your region of the world. We try to match the price with local economy so that we can help as many students as possible. All right, everybody. Apps, yes. Academic IELTS help, general IELTS help in your app stores, Instagram, yes. IELTS underscore A help, G IELTS help. Saraswati is asking, what is the best speaking app for IELTS speaking? Saraswati. IELTS underscore AE help. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right. Uh, for emails, send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com, admin at aehelp.com. Um, it depends what you're looking for, uh, Saraswati. Um, our app has lots of speaking videos that you can practice with. We have more great speaking videos in our app uh, and our website they link than anybody else uh, if you want ai practice um, there's an app called uh, baby code ielts that does ai speaking practice and um, if you want a like a one-on-one -on -one tutor our partner cambly is great for that it's of course a bit more expensive but you get a native english speaking tutor through the app so that's cambly's app for speaking okay so check those out depends on your budget depends on what you're looking for okay all right um students uh schedules after this class we've got a little bit of a break until thursday thursday i'm back it's the usual schedule i will post this on our youtube community board so subscribe to our channel so you get these notifications we've got speaking on thursday and then task two reading on friday and speaking part two part three on saturday uh, in the week coming up okay all right uh, Saraswati, I just answered your question. Pay attention. Okay. Angel's helping you out there as well. All right. Um, students, uh, there's this uh, speaking video here that we just released. Hi, Eugen. Uh, check that out. Okay. Um, let's get into speaking part three. So we just did speaking part two. Uh, speaking part two was uh, pretending to be friendly with a person. And uh, we had some volunteers did a great job answering uh, that uh, question or those questions. Now we're going to get into the uh, follow-up questions on uh, being friendly. And we're going to jump right in. So let's do it through practice, okay? Remember the golden rule, Answer, explanation, example. Keep thinking about that. All right, so let's just do this. Let's get into it. I will uh, talk about strategy. I will teach you expressions, vocabulary throughout the class. And I want uh, to hear from as many volunteers as possible today. I want to give people chances to speak. 
and speak you shall. Um, this is speaking, so please speak and repeat. I speak with a North American West Coast accent here in Victoria, very close to Vancouver and Seattle. Uh, people in uh, the state of Washington, Oregon, California, and the provinces of British Columbia, uh, territory Yukon, um, state of Alaska, uh, state, uh, province of Alberta. We all kind of speak with a very similar English style. You hear it in many of the Hollywood movies that's on the West Coast here as well in Los Angeles. All right, so very clear, crisp English. Copy the words, copy my speed, intonation, pronunciation as best as you can, okay? If it's not perfect, it's okay. All right, uh, speak and repeat. Let's talk about being friendly. Let's talk about being friendly, good. If you're repeating me, you're on the right track. The examiner will say, uh, do you think it is necessary to be friendly? Give me a nice full sentence answer to this question. I will do the same and then I will check what you gave as your answer and we'll compare and we'll talk about it. Um, yes, I absolutely believe that it is a vital uh, skill in life to be uh, friendly with others as humans are social creatures by nature and forming good relationships can have a lot of advantages such as getting a high paying uh, job and finding that perfect uh, person. In fact, one of my good friends introduced me to my wife a few years ago. All right, that would be your band nine answer in this case. Notice how we have that answer explanation example. So again, repeat after me and then I will look at your answers and I will give you feedback. Here we go. Do you think it is necessary to be friendly? Yes, I absolutely believe that it is a vital skill in life to be friendly with others as humans are social creatures by nature and forming good relationships can have a lot of advantages such as getting a high paying job and finding that perfect person. In fact, one of my good friends introduced me to my wife a few years ago. Let's see what Kevin has for us today. Nice to see you joining in, Kevin. Kevin says, oh, look at that. Kevin's got some very similar vocabulary. Uh, Kevin says, uh, Yes, I think being social really matters because if people are not, no one would want to be their friends, then they would end up feeling lonely and miserable because humans are social creatures. Worse yet, being cold and unapproachable can sometimes even turn others against people, making lives all the more difficult for them. Um, Kevin, this is okay. My comment here, so Kevin, this is a high band answer, no question, okay? So this would be, fluently said, this could easily be a band uh, nine, okay? However, keep this in mind, uh, students, and this is an important tip, okay, Kevin? Um, it is always best, okay? So let me give you this tip up here, okay? It is always best to approach answers from the positive uh, support rather than the negative. 
So what do I mean by this, right? Like you're going, well, what does he mean by that? Um, so what I mean by this is when you're arguing for a situation or for something, right? Like in this case, it's necessary to be friendly. Think about explaining it from the positive because when a person is friendly, they have these benefits or advantages. Instead of thinking about because if they're not friendly, then they have these negatives. That is also an argumentative style. Generally, having the positive approach leads to a stronger argument and leads to a better response. Keep that in mind, okay, Kevin? Does everybody understand that? So um, it is good to be uh, friendly because um, social uh, people tend to have many benefits is better than saying um, it is good to be friendly because introverts suffer from, okay? So you want the positive side, all right? Does that make sense? Okay, Kevin says, I agree. Okay, Domenico says yes. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't at times give the opposite perspective, right? But generally speaking, logic dictates that we support arguments from the positive side in most contexts as much as possible, okay? All right, I see some thumbs up there. That's great. All right, uh, Chayani, let's see what you have for us today. Uh, this is uh, Chayani's response to this question. Chayani says, I think being friendly is vital in order to be social and uh, maintain relationships for life as we can't live without other humans that have positive impacts like uh, getting a job and a partner. Okay, and then Chayani continues with from my experience, let me get your example here too, Chayani. Chayani's very smart. Chayani realized, hey, let's include an example. Um, all right, uh, instead of from my experience, you don't need that, Chayani, just get right into the example. A good example will link. Information will link information. You don't have to use uh, saying, for example, for instance. So I am very active to approach with other people um, I am uh, always approachable and interact with other people. As a result, I have lots of friends that always spend time with me, either for education or entertainment. Okay? That is the corrected version of that response, Chayani. Practice that, okay? All right, uh, students, uh, very nice. Let's go to the next question. What are some ways that people express friendly behavior? Give me a nice full sentence. I'm going to do the same. So I will again answer. I will wait for your answers. I'll take a couple, give you some feedback, make some corrections. Let's move along nice and steady. So there are several ways that individuals can be amicable. Okay, using that word, right? The vocabulary from uh, the last class, if you missed it. Um, there are several ways that individuals can be amicable by giving a nice compliment to another, perhaps telling them, hey, you look great today. Or, by simply helping out, such as uh, sharing uh, some notes from a university lecture with an absent classmate. 
this is the way I met one of my best friends, Dwayne. It's actually true. Okay. All right. Um, so there you go. Now notice that here uh, we have um, a uh, direct quote as well. So using uh, direct or indirect quotes, so reported speech, as we've discussed, is a good idea. I want you to really focus on your dynamic grammar in today's class as well. So really try to put some direct, indirect quotes in there, um, some complex grammar, nice joining words, okay? So here we go. Uh, what are some ways that people express friendly behavior? There are several ways that individuals can be amicable by giving a nice compliment to another, perhaps telling them, hey, you look great today, or by simply helping out, such as sharing some notes from a university lecture with an absent classmate. This is the way I met one of my best friends, Dwayne, in my psychology class, it's true. Okay, all right. Let's see, one's response. Okay, and again, students, don't forget to repeat. So it's not just a listening exercise. Really work hard to listen and repeat. If you're having trouble doing it just from auditory cues, then read, okay? All right. One says, there are several ways that people show their amicable manner. For example, through facial expressions like always smiling with our neighbors uh, when we bump into them. Uh, on, always often is followed by the progressive form of the verb because we're always doing it, right? It's like, I'm always smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling now, I'm smiling now, and I'm still smiling, right? So always is uh, when you have an adverb of frequency that shows uh, continuity, like always or often, it is frequently followed by the ing form, okay? Um, and again, you don't need that for example. The reason I say that is because some examiners are very apprehensive with the for example. For instance, they think you're going into like a big speech. They don't want that. So through facial expressions, like always smiling with our neighbors when we bumped in, bump into them. Another way is to help them uh, when they... Don't see the rest of it, Owan, uh, but I'm sure it's somewhere in your mind or in your computer, not in mine. Okay, uh, Domenico La Fauci. Love your name, by the way, Domenico. It just rolls off the tongue. You've probably realized I also have an Italian name, Adrian. Okay, uh, Domenico says, I believe there are several ways people can be amicable by showing a big smile or by simply greeting other people. I'm also of the opinion that listening to another person is a form of respect and friendly behavior. Yes, very good point, Domenico. I agree. Um, that helps to cement a strong relationship between two people. Yes, listening is often better than speaking uh, to form relationships. People love people that can listen. Yes, indeed. Very good, Domenico. Nice. Then notice how Domenico does not have really an example here, but that doesn't matter. You don't need an example for every single situation. Sometimes uh, you can miss the example. Do make sure, however, that you have explanations. So if you don't always include an example, that's all right. In fact, it can get kind of annoying if you always have an example. So maybe like 60%, 70% include examples, but definitely always give explanations because the why question is always in your listener's mind, okay? All right, um, next question. Here we go, everybody, you're doing great. Let's keep rolling with it, and then shortly, uh, we'll take some volunteers, okay? We'll get into it. Uh, here we go. Is there a difference between friendly and polite behavior? Give me a nice full sentence answer for this question. 
I'm going to give you an answer and then uh, we'll compare. Okay, so yes, I believe that there is a clear uh, difference uh, between simply being courteous and uh, being friendly. In the former, a person uh, is well-mannered and says hello, good morning, and goodbye. But in the latter case, the feelings are reciprocated, whereby the individual not only follows protocol, but goes one step further to impress the other individual with um, an act of kindness like buying a birthday gift and expects some kindness in return. Okay. All right. So again, notice that uh, reported speech. Okay. Um, so is uh, there a difference between friendly and polite behavior? Remember, students, this is speaking. I want you to repeat. Copy what I say. Copy how I say it, okay? Here we go. Yes, I believe there is a clear difference between simply being courteous and being friendly. In the former, a person is well-mannered, and says hello good morning and goodbye but in the latter case the feelings are reciprocated reciprocated whereby the individual not only follows protocol but goes one step further to impress the other individual with an act of kindness like buying a birthday gift and expect some kindness in return okay all right so uh, let's see. Anna has an answer for us to this question. Let's check out what Anna is telling us. Anna says, Yes, of course, there is a big difference between being polite and friendly. When people answer politely, this means that they have good manners, but they aren't necessarily friendly. They aren't necessarily being friendly. Friendly people are always helpful to each other and go beyond simple manners okay so and i have a feeling you had an ending to this i don't see it in my chat yet but uh, that would work so uh this kind of ending here okay all right um let's see what angel um has for us okay angel says this Angel, I can see that you're making a connection to previous information, which is very good. Uh, the IELTS examiner literally has a part in their marking sheet where it's it asks, um, the candidate sounds like they are in a conversation, not just answering questions, yes or no. For band eight, band nine, that has to be a yes. They sound like it's a conversation, not just answering questions. So Angel here says, as I mentioned, I think so, yes. Uh, having, I think uh, there's a typo there, but uh, having, um, it's not simultaneous respect. 
Does anybody know what that's called? When I respect you, you respect me. It's um, not simultaneous. Okay, Angel says it's supposed to be Red Cross. I'm not sure where you're going with that, Angel, but uh, um, yes, very good, Daisy. Daisy says it's called mutual respect. So Angel, not simultaneous, but mutual. Okay, is the correct collocation, uh, mutual. So having mutual respect, others can uh, be uh, polite. However, being friendly means to be extroverted and outgoing with people, even with uh, strangers, whereby the individual has a desire to spend time with that person. When I'm friendly with um, another individual, I hope to see them and uh, hang out. This is not necessarily the case when I'm uh, being polite, like uh, holding the door for a neighbor. Okay. All right. Angel, a little bit of a fix, a little bit of an example in there. Um, let's look at it. Let's forget about that Red Cross bit. I think that was uh, confusing. Kevin, good. Mutual. A lot of you got that. That was great. Okay. All right. Um, here we go. As I mentioned, I think so. Yes. Having mutual respect, others can be polite. However, being friendly means to be extroverted and outgoing with all people, even with strangers, whereby the individual has a desire to spend time with that person. When I'm friendly with another individual, I hope to see them and hang out. This is not necessarily the case when I'm being polite, like holding the door for a neighbor. All right, good. Okay, everybody, um, we'll leave the last three questions for some original thought for you, and we'll get into some volunteering. I'd rather spend the time with you volunteering, and then we will see some nice answers uh, for those questions as well, okay? Uh, here we go, everybody. Uh, how do you volunteer? Do we have any? I, I don't know if we have moderators in this class right now, but uh, I'll put the instructions into the chat for you. So first of all, go to the website, aehelp.com. Then uh, log in to your My Student account. If you don't have one, create one. Um, then uh, click on the Student Partner Speaking button and then make sure you have uh, your microphone enabled your speaker working uh, make sure that you can make a connection you have a VPN if necessary keep the window open okay so first step we hop over to the website aehelp.com it'll look like this uh, again students joining that premium package you're just doing yourself a favor you're getting the right materials to help you succeed on your IELTS exam. Click that big red button that's there. You're off to the races. And then uh, after you do that, you go to your My Student account. In your My Student account, you have computer-based practice tests, interactive course with strategies, lesson videos. And off to the right, you have the IELTS student partner speaking. If you're using your phone, you just have to scroll. You'll see it there. Okay. Click on that. Accept and join. And then volunteer. You volunteer by finding my handle. I will be listed as master. And then uh, next to that, Uh, click on the uh, blue envelope that's beside my uh, name and then we can connect, okay? Now, um, Naridra, I wonder if you're here. I remember my promise to a couple of students that have been very adamant and we will get there. Uh, Thu has been uh, quite persistent and I reward persistence. Persistence is great. Thu, are you ready?
Kogo, it's mutual respect, mutual respect. Uh, we can understand reciprocal or simultaneous, but the correct collocation is mutual respect, okay? All right, Thu. Hi, Thu. Hi. Hi, Evans. How are you How doing? Are you? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I am doing great, Thu. All right, Thu, if I remember correctly, you're in Vietnam, right? Yes, of course. I am. I come from Bắc Ninh, Vietnam. Okay, and uh, can you remind me, why are you doing the IELTS? Uh, this is because uh, I want to win a black at a top type of university in Vietnam. So. All right. Yes. Good. Um, so I will help you out here. Uh, I will ask you some questions. Give me some nice full sentence answers and then I will give you some feedback. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not really happy, but I want to talk to you so much. <laughs> Good. Push past <laughs> your fears. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. So let's talk about being friendly. Um, do you think it is necessary to be friendly? Yes, it is a very important I think that we need to stand a stable relationship with the culture and we need to uh, be polite to each other in order to uh, not avoid uh, making them feel uh, distracted, uh, cranky or irritable. So I think uh, it is very important. Now we can say uh, uh now we can do other uh, do other a uh, favor when they get into trouble is a good example what are some ways that people express friendly behavior mm, yes there are a mixed variety of uh means of communication we can uh, manifest or uh friendliness towards other people for example you you need to listen to other people or lend an ear to other people in other words. Uh, uh, or you can uh, speak very gen gently and don't uh, and avoid saying something which, which is very uh, negative. And it's very, uh, it's very rude to uh, stigmatize other people, I think. Okay, let's stop there. Um, actually, I, I'll give you some I haven't read that. It's you. okay. You're doing great. All right, Thu. Let me give you some um, feedback here. Thu, uh, your um, speaking would be about a band six, so fluent, to um, going kind of towards 6.5. Uh, your strengths are definitely your understanding of vocabulary and grammar. You have um, very good uh, vocabulary, very good vocabulary. Your vocabulary is like a band eight, band nine, um, and you have fairly solid grammar. Uh, you need to work on your uh, pronunciation, and by pronunciation, uh, I mean both the way that you pronounce words to be clear, and also yeah. your intonation, like your fluency, to sound smooth, quick, and natural, okay, with good rhythm in your speech to make it easy to understand for other people what you're saying. Your answers are great. You want to make it easy to understand. So lots and lots of repetition, auditory repetition through. So listen to uh, native English and copy it. Um, this is when you have to decide, do I want to speak with uh, an American English or a British English? Pick one and then copy it. So if you say, okay, I want to speak with kind of a West Coast American accent, like uh, what Adrian is using, or what a lot of people use as all the Hollywood movies, uh, many of the sitcoms, the TV shows, Netflix, then stick with the uh, Western American style of English and just 
pick some characters that you really like um, and copy what they say. Keep copying it and work on your articulation. Don't worry too much about vocabulary. Don't worry much about grammar because you've got that, okay? Um, so here you said, do you think it is necessary, or I asked you, do you think it is necessary to be friendly? You said, yes, it is paramount important. Uh, paramount is not combined with another word. We just say I, it is, yep. I, I want to, is you miss a word? I, I say it is of paramount importance. Yes, I mean, it is yeah. of, of paramount. We have that expression, it is of paramount importance. Um, simplify it. Uh, you can just say paramount. So just say, yes, it is paramount. But it is my habit of... <laughs> try it, Thu. Try it. Just repeat me. Thu, yes. don't even worry about what you're saying. Worry more about how you're saying it, okay? Because what yes. you're saying is good, okay? It's how you're saying it that you want to focus on. So repeat after yes. me. It, and watch the articulation of my mouth. Yes, it is paramount. Yes, it is paramount. It is necessary for stable relationships. It is necessary for stable relationships. Okay, let's jump to the to the next one. Again, your vocabulary is great, no question. I asked you, what are some ways that people express friendly behavior? You said there are a mixed variety of means, very nice English, okay, to express friendliness. That was great. Again, just focus on the pronunciation and the intonation, okay? So watch my, watch my articulation and try to copy as best as you can. So there are a mixed variety of means the mixed variety of means to express friendliness to other people to express a uh, friendliness to other people okay let's try that intonation again watch how it's when i say it it's quite a bit smoother okay to express friendliness to other people to express friendliness to other people okay good to other people to other people Okay, good. So really focus on that intonation and that pronunciation because that's yeah. what's blocking you from getting that higher band score. Nothing to do with your grammar, nothing to do with your vocabulary. Um, and avoid the word you. So you said, for example, you need to lend an ear. Oh, I'm listening through, I'm listening to you. So I'm lending you an ear. So don't speak directly to the examiner, okay? Yeah. Okay, so you need to say, it's important to lend an ear to other people. Try it, one last one. It's important to lend an ear to other people. It's important to lend an ear to other people. Lend an ear to other people. Lend an ear to other people. Okay, good. Keep working on that. Keep working on it. Through, I promise you'll get there. It's possible. Like, uh, for instance, Kevin, I don't know if you've heard Kevin Bowie speak before, but he's got really nice uh, intonation and he's Vietnamese as well. So, and he's mastered that nice intonation and pronunciation. So, I've heard a few different Vietnamese people mastering it. So, it's definitely possible. Okay. Actually, I, I see. Uh, almost uh, job videos, uh, job especially uh, um, uh, interview videos. I mean, and I I really copy <laughs> on a native speaker. Good. And I and I really uh, learn by her uh, the answer. <laughs> Good. Actually, Keep doing I, that. I, I I I don't see any improvements. You are improving. Your brain is an improving machine, unlike any in the world. So you are improving. That I can promise you, okay? There is no way yes. that you're not improving. And that's for everybody. So not just for Thu, but everybody watching, you improve, okay? That's what we do. As soon as we're born into this world and we start learning even before we're born, we are improving. So I promise that you're improving, Thu, okay? Yeah. All right. Bye, Thu. Have a great day. Have a great day. The same day. <laughs> Thank you. All right. There goes Thu. Um, yeah, students, forward, upward, onward. Okay. I promise you that you are improving. All right. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's take somebody else. I'm trying to remember who has and hasn't had the chance. Okay, I'm gonna jump to Naladri because Naladri is being extremely patient and um, persistent, and hopefully we can connect. So Naladri, are you ready? One of our premium students 
and hopefully we can help out Naladri here with some speaking. So Naladri, if you're there, I hope that you tested your system with some other people as well and you have a good stable connection. Thumbs up for Thu, everybody. Great. Absolutely. Naladri. Naladri, I do hear that you picked up, but I don't hear your voice. You have to try connecting in a different way. Okay, I'm not sure if you're using the same type of connection or if you're trying different types of connections. Naladri, um, let me know what's going on, all right? Send me an email. I definitely want you to have the opportunity to speak. So uh, send me an email to uh, admin at aehelp.com so that we can give you some advice. Um, and you can do that also with, um, so if you're in the student page, there's the uh, contact us up here, okay? You can send an email with that button as well in the lottery and let me know what kind of device what operating system what country you're in uh, what type of internet connection you have and then we can take a look at why you're not able to uh, connect here okay all right hopefully we can help you out soon all right um let's jump to romelia romelia did have a chance to volunteer earlier this week but we haven't heard from romelia in such a long time romelia are you ready we want to give her a couple of chances and we've got lots of time students in this class so hang in there romelia says yes with the triple s yes all right Hello. Hi, Romelia. Can you hear me? I can. How is the weather in Bucharest? Uh, pretty well, yeah. Not uh, very, very sunny, but uh, present temperature. Okay. So it's yeah. pretty good. No rain. Yeah, no so, rain at all. Good. So you can, so, yeah. you, can, you can say this, Romelia. You can say it's pretty good, even though it's overcast. It's the temperature. Yeah, is, yeah. The, the temperature is good. Try it. Even though I couldn't ask for more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Try this. Even though it's overcast, the temperature is quite comfortable. Even though it's overcast, the temperature is quite comfortable. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah. Same here. It's just, we have the same weather. Um, you're almost on the same parallel, by the way. In Victoria, we're on the uh, 48th parallel, and I think. Um, Bucharest is somewhere around the same, 47, 48. So, all right. Um, although on the other side of the world, right? Uh, Romelia, uh, let me ask you a couple of questions. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's talk about being friendly. What are some ways that people express friendly behavior? Um, there are various ways to show friendly behavior, um, such as smiling, eye contact, uh, using polite language, maybe being attentive to others. Uh, but uh, in addition, other subtle ways to, to being friendly, which may involve uh, remembering important details about others which was the case with me when a former uh, co-worker called me on my birthday and I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Is there a difference between friendly and polite behavior? Mm, yes, I would say so. There is a difference between friendly and polite uh, behavior because uh, the um, polite behavior is in keeping with some uh, kind of social norm uh, involving showing consideration, respect towards others, uh, using appropriate language, uh, gestures, uh, whereas uh, friendly behavior uh, goes a bit be beyond the politeness uh, and uh, involves uh, interacting with others in a warm and um, welcoming manner, expressing genuinely the interest and the concern for the other person. Okay, that was so awesome. I, it was so fluent, I couldn't even keep up with you. Romelia, 
here's a positive uh, uh, feedback and uh, surprise for you to give you some real motivation going into your weekend. That's band nine. That's a clear band nine. Those two answers. Okay? Oh really? Yeah. No question. <laughs> Thank no, you. Yeah. No question about it. So without a doubt, um, those two answers. Nine out of 10 examiners would give you a band nine for that without question. <laughs> a very, very good response is very accurate, nice vocabulary, very well placed, um, coherent answers. It's, uh, that's, uh, that's what we call textbook answer for a band nine. Okay? <laughs> so I'll tell you uh, why. I have to admit, I, I pencil, uh, pencil it in uh, somehow mentally, mm -hmm. more unconsciously. I was prepared because I knew the, the answers the the questions but anyway i'm surprised mm -hmm. because always i i get stuck when when it's come to to the actual answer mm -hmm. live yeah no, yeah that was that was a bad nine um i'll explain to everybody why okay so it has every element of fluency coherence pronunciation grammatical range accuracy um uh, it, it vocabulary, lexical resource. So all, all of the elements are there in these answers. Uh, natural language, complex language, coherent language. So uh, notice how the first answer that uh, Romelia gave, she started slow. She said, um, there are various ways. And then the next uh, answer, she started a little bit differently. Same style, but slightly different. And natural fillers are okay, especially when they lead to outstanding answers like these. So notice that the next time she started, she didn't say, um, she said, hmm. So she said, hmm, yes, I would say so. All right, very natural, very precise leading expression for this type of a question. Is there a difference? Hmm, yeah, I would say so. Okay, very natural. Um, and then uh, she just kept going with uh, word by word uh, outstanding uh, response. So she said there is a difference between friendly and behavior because polite behavior is keeping in line with some social norms. That is textbook uh, for what we would expect an expert user of the English and communication to say in this context, okay? Keeping in line means to uh, stay with the expectations of, of social norms. So keep in line means to follow the rules of social norms. And then uh, she kept going and said, uh, friendly behavior goes beyond polite behavior, uh, such as welcoming um, reciprocation, or there was some, you know, go back and listen to what Romelia says because she said it so well, I don't even know if I can repeat the accuracy there, but that was really, really great. Um, so I don't let's... even remember what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. well, it was it was hard. You were speaking so fluently that I, I, I that when you really got going, I actually had uh, trouble keeping up with the typing. But it was really really good. Um, and then um, uh, let's see, uh, what else was there? Oh yes, you said. Um, uh, various ways to show friendly behavior such as smiling, eye contact, and maybe being attentive to others in subtle ways like paying attention to what they're wearing. Okay, again, a really visual form of communication. So here, the listener can actually empathize with what, in this case, Romelia said. Like, yes, I definitely feel that when somebody pays attention to me in subtle ways, like notices my new earrings or notices my new haircut, they're being friendly with me. So creating that strong emphasis in the context of what you're saying and doing that well will lead to high band scores, no question. So uh, Romelia, outstanding job, lots to learn from those answers for sure. Thank you so much for Thank sharing. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. so encouraging. Mm -hmm. My first band, band nine ever. Mm -hmm. That's great. Romelia, keep it up, we'll talk again, okay? Okay, thank right. you. Bye-bye. All right, and I'm sure those of you who watch these classes regularly can now catch those band levels, right? You're realizing like, wow, that was a really good answer. Like it, it's a, it's a, so to be honest, when uh, the examiners award a band nine, which is an expert user, whether that's in your speaking or in your writing, it does have to have this wow factor, like what Romeli was able to create for me right now. So uh, band nine um, scores are awarded for responses in both um, the speaking 
and writing when there is a what's called a wow factor okay um, so and Romelia definitely got that from me in this case where I was like wow that's a really good answer that was literally what I had in my head I was like wow that's a really good answer okay if you can accomplish that wow factor that's when you know you're at that band nine, okay? So thumbs up, Romelia. Good job. You definitely deserve it. Okay, everybody. Um, you can do it. See, Romelia, um, she's had scores, as I think, as low as seven or maybe even lower, 7.5, and now she was able to produce language at the band nine level. So yes, it is possible. Yes, you can do it. Uh, all right, everybody. Let's try somebody else. Let's see if Lola is here. Lola, are you ready? Okay. And if you're not sure about Romelia's response, watch that part of the uh, video again. I think it was at uh, about, uh, let me check here. Um, it was at about uh, 45 minutes in the lesson. So you can check that out. Uh, Lola, if you're there and you're hanging out, you're there and then we can connect. Okay. And then I'm going to look for some others, uh, not to worry. Okay. So Lola. Hi, Lola. How are you? Hi, sir. I'm good. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Lola, if you can go closer to your mic and speak louder, we'll hear you, we'll hear you better. Okay. All Am right. Clear? Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. It's just you want to be loud, loud. You're always a little bit on the quiet <laughs> yeah. side. Be loud. <laughs> shout it, Lola. Shout it. Okay. Um, let's do this. So how is your day going, Lola? It's going great as the same as all the other days. Just study. <laughs> all right, it's the same as so all your days go well. That's great. That's good to hear. It's uh, it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. All right, uh, Lola. Let's talk about being friendly. Okay. How important is it to be friendly in your work or school? Um, in my high school, it's definitely important to be friendly because uh, just taking example as me, I want to impact to other um, my friends or teachers um, in my friendly way uh, and I don't want to put myself in bad situations like if I got argued with others and I want to avoid being in uh, the situation with being friendlier. Some people pretend to be friendly when in fact they are not. Why do people do this? Mm, yeah, I think maybe people do not want to put bad thoughts on another person's thoughts. Like maybe they just want to share um, their feelings, like if they want to speak bad words, but they um, protect it um, from hurting other people's feelings. I think so. I think that's why they pretend to be friendly. As I did, I mean, as I did yesterday, I just talked to my literature teacher in further way, even though I wasn't. Okay, Lola, I'm going to stop there and just give you some feedback. All right, um, fluency is pretty good. So your fluency is like a seven, eight, okay? Um, pronunciation is good. I can understand your words very clearly. Grammatical accuracy needs work. Five, um, lexical resource is good, but you need to choose your words better. So grammar definitely needs work. Lots of grammar. Reading aloud lots, lots of writing, making sure you have good grammar. Okay. And then adapting it to your speaking. I understand what you're saying, 
but it's kind of confusing. It's somewhat random, okay? So uh, let's organize your thoughts a bit here. Let's jump back to this first one. So how important is it to be friendly in your work or school? You said, hmm, in my high school, it's definitely uh, important to be friendly. Okay, so uh, have you had a job ever so far, Ula? No. Okay, then you can start with that. So you can say, I'm not sure about work because I've never been employed. I'm not sure about uh, being friendly at work because I've never been employed. Can you repeat that after me? I'll say it one okay. more time. I'm not sure about being friendly at work because I've never been employed. I'm not sure about being friendly at work because I've never been employed. Okay, and right away we're showing some um, present perfect there, so that's nice. And then you can contrast, however, in my high school. Mm -hmm. However, in my high school. It's definitely important to be friendly. It's definitely important to be friendly. And I'm not sure about high schools. Are you, You're in Uzbekistan, Lola? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess that was just I, I. I tried to remember where regular volunteers are from, but I don't. Always, it doesn't always work. So, okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm not sure about Uzbekistan, but um, in Canada, in the U.S., and a couple countries that I visited, high school is a popularity contest. Is high school a popularity contest in Uzbekistan? Yes, but we don't have high schools. We only have normal schools which um, <laughs> students uh, study from first grade to 11th grade. Okay, the so time. they're all normal schools. High schools are normal schools too. <laughs> so you don't have to say, you know, okay. So, and that's, that's details. It doesn't matter, Lola. Okay, so all you have to say is, however, in my school, it's definitely important to be friendly because school is often mm -hmm. a popularity contest and kids who are friendly and have a lot of friends tend to have good experiences. Okay, um, try that. So there's different ways to say this, but here it's more the concept that I'm trying to relay to you, okay? Lola, so um, you don't have to re repeat exactly what I'm saying, just try to repeat the concept in a clear way. Okay, watch uh, or listen. However, in my school, it's definitely important to be friendly because school is often a popularity contest and kids who, are, who have lots of friends have good experiences. Um, however, in my high school, it's definitely important to be friendly because school is often a popularity contest and kids were um, put up and kids. I'll say it one more time. Kids with lots of friends tend to have good experiences. And kids with lots of friends tend to have good experiences. Okay, I'm well liked in my school. So don't say, for example, just give the example. I'm well liked in my school and I always have a friend to hang out with. I'm in my high school. I'm well okay. liked it in my high school and I always um, get well with others. And I always have a friend to hang out with and have fun. And I always have a friend to hang out with. And have fun. And have fun. Okay. So lots of practice putting together these nice, accurate, grammatically correct sentences. Okay, Lola? So I want you to practice. Do a lot of reading. Okay, a lot of reading. So pick up a novel, English novel that you enjoy and uh, and read it nice and loud so you can hear that clear grammar try to find a novel that has lots of reported speech in it okay mm -hmm. okay all right keep going keep going lola you're doing great thank you you're thank welcome you so much. bye for bye. now
Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, that was Lola. Yeah, it's great. So different students obviously as many of you realize have different areas of weakness and it's very important to identify your area of weakness and then target that directly don't just get feedback from me get feedback from uh, other sources so ask google how do i improve my grammar what are uh, good exercises to improve spoken english grammar right so lola for instance in your case i would ask google um, or even uh, chat GPT use the AI right you can use of course other teachers as well and their advice so uh, you can ask uh, Google that's a quick way to do it or chat GPT uh, what are good ways or good exercises to improve uh, spoken grammar okay ask that See what it comes up with. See what it uh, gives back to you. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take another volunteer. Uh, let's uh, take... Ah, Alexander. All by his lonesome at the bottom of the, of the list here. Let's see if Alexander is there. Alexander, are you ready? We haven't heard from Alexander in some time. Hopefully, Alexander is there. And um, good thumbs up there, everybody. Rustam Beck says, Lola, I think you spoke well. Absolutely. No, Lola does speak well. We always want to work on speaking even better. All right. Here is Alexander. Hello. Alexander, how are you? Hello, hello. Uh, it's my sensitive question from, if I may ask you, is it important always to answer? Because I noticed from some movies or series like Caprano or Soprano, sorry. They don't answer, I'm fine. They just answer, how do you do in, in, in return? Is it okay? Uh, good question. Um depends on your culture. I think in Canadian culture, we tend to respond. In British culture, maybe a little bit less so. Uh, American culture really depends on where you are. <laughs> so in Sopranos, yes, I can see that. Um, it's not always um, necessary. It is used as a form of greeting, as like simply saying hi, like, hi, how do you do? Hi, how do you do? Um, but generally, in my neck of the woods yeah we would say um if if we don't if, here's a yeah it's it's interesting if we don't want to tell the other person how we're really feeling we just always give it that very cliche i'm well or i'm fine i'm fine how are you the i'm fine if you're in canada doesn't actually necessarily mean that they're doing great or doing badly we don't really know um, it just means they're kind of dodging the question. So if I ask one of my friends, how are you? And they say, I'm fine, how are you? Then I know that they could be good, they could be bad, and they probably don't want to tell me more. Okay, so it's a culturally very tricky question that you're asking me, but it's a very good question. Does that make sense, Alexander? It makes sense, but I maybe should uh, I should explain you why I'm asking, because I feel very much uncomfortable mm -hmm. answering when I'm fine, when my in times when my relatives and friends are mm -hmm. suff suffering problem in neighbor countries, mm -hmm. as you can see, so I, even our colleagues online from Ukraine, so I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't feel well to answer. I'm fine. I, I feel. I get you. No, and I can uh, I can sympathize uh, with you absolutely, um, Alexander. So. Um, uh, in this case, a Canadian um, would probably say, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, okay, clear. Thank right, you. I'm doing the best okay. I can. Um, and then and then you move on. All right, um, Alexander, I haven't heard from you in, in ages, and that's why I asked you as well, um, how are you? Uh, so let's get into it. Let's improve on your English. Uh, let's yeah. talk about being friendly. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, here we go. Some people pretend to be friendly. In fact, when they are not, why do people do this? In my humble opinion, it's very effective way to stay calm, 
to achieve uh, necessary results, to avoid unnecessary uh, quarrels, so unnecessary problems, so unnecessary uh, un unneeded uh, irritation from on our side. So I don't think it's bad. I think it's very good uh, pattern or good behavior for all of us. First of all, we should be friendly whatever happened around to people who communicate to us. It's much more effective and uh, useful when to be, let's say, cool or raw or unfriendly. Is it a good idea to ask a person directly what you want? I don't think so. It it should it should depend. Dep it depends on the situation, exact uh, surrounds or level of your personal relations to this person. But we have different uh, different models for business discussion, first meeting or second meeting, or your partner for a long time, your friend discussion, or just person on the street. So for each level of communication, you have to find most appropriate way of communicate of answer or well, your behavior or level of your friends friendliness should be uh, weighted based on the situation and uh, target of your disc of your communication all right that is the end of part three let me give you some feedback okay um so alexander that would be considered about a band six you're fluent you keep talking and that's good um it doesn't quite reach the level of good english yet because of the grammar lexical resource and the content so we have to focus on content here as well let me jump back and i will give you uh bit by bit uh feedback so um, my uh, question here was some people pretend to be friendly when in fact they are not why do people do this and you started well your, your start was great you said in my humble opinion and in this case the IMO um, is uh, very well used because this is kind of a sensitive question um, so in my humble opinion it is a good way to stay calm um, be direct so uh, pretending to be friendly is a good way instead of using the pronoun it um, just say pretending to be friendly it makes it very clear for the listener that you're targeting uh, the answer plus for your own thinking it will help um, friendly is a good way to stay calm and achieve necessary results so until here I thought it was a fantastic answer, band eight, band nine. And and you said, and avoid unnecessary irritation, which is still good. Um, and then you started to just kind of repeat yourself. You said, I don't think it's bad. First of all, we should be friendly. This is all more or less repetition of the answer that you already gave. Instead of mm -hmm. that, Alexander, you need to explain yourself, right? Give, exa give examples, yeah. Example is a good way if you're having trouble with the explanation. Um, otherwise, try to explain before the example. So let me ask you uh, this. Um, why is it a good way to achieve necessary results to pretend to be friendly? Because it's cre it, will create, it will create a positive atmosphere of communication and uh, produce, let's say, and uh, influence another person in a in a positive, warm way. With no, with when we can avoid any risk of negative reaction or unnecessary nervousness or <laughs> irritation <laughs> from another person. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Let me, uh, let me give you a bit of guidance here. So uh, I'm following you. I'm just expanding a bit on what you're saying. Um, and this is again for everybody. So when you're breaking down concepts, uh, such as the social concepts of humans, uh, friendliness, right? Um, again, think of those uh, variables that are intrinsic and that affect all people like time and energy. 
right? So mm -hmm. among humans, as social creatures, we have uh, a, an exchange of time and energy, right? So I wrote, friendliness leads to a positive atmosphere, which is what you said. So we can win the favor of others and they are willing to give their energy and time to help us. Okay. And then you can give an example. I am always uh, friendly with my colleagues uh, so that we can be productive in the company. Um, I invited uh, three of my coworkers last week uh, for coffee in hopes of uh, speeding up our um, engineering project. Okay, we have okay. these kinds of ideas, right? So try uh -huh. this, Alexander. So I really want you to focus on this. I think what happens in your speech often, and this is what's dropping your overall score, is that you get hung up on the answer. And then rather than shifting to that clear explanation example, you start to ruminate. And what that will cause is the examiner will interrupt you. They will definitely cut you off and they'll interrupt you, okay? So uh, let me uh, repeat this response and then try it after me. Uh, it doesn't have to be the exact same words. I want you to really pay attention to the content here. So in my humble opinion, pretending to be friendly is a good way to stay calm and achieve the necessary results by avoiding unnecessary irritation. Friendliness leads to a positive atmosphere and we win the favor of others. They're willing to give their energy and time to help. I'm always friendly with my colleagues so that we're productive in my company. I invite my colleagues regularly for coffee. I bring them donuts and this helps speed up our engineering projects. Okay. In my humble opinion, pretending to be friendly is a good way to stay calm and achieve necessary results and avoid unnecessary irritation. Friendliness leads to a positive atmosphere so we can win the favor of others and they are willing to give the energy and time to help us. I am always try to be friendly with my colleagues so that we can be productive in the company. I invite three of my co-workers last week for coffee in hope of speeding up our engineering project. Okay, much, much better. So that would definitely get you a higher band score. Do you see the difference in the in the response? Yeah, yeah more structural, more structural and <laughs> crystal clear. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Okay, Alexander, thanks for volunteering. I hope the situation improves as, as I'm sure a lot of us do. Um, we just yeah. uh, need to be friendlier and work together, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Positive. Thank All you, right. Thank you. <laughs> Alexander, I wish you the best. Bye for now. Same to you. Bye bye. All right. That was Alexander. Let's give Alexander a good thumbs up there. Um, yeah, everybody, uh, answer, explain, example. That structure must be fundamental in your thinking for IELTS and not just IELTS, but in a lot of uh, different interactions. You want that to guide your communication uh, in order to achieve high band scores. Students, uh, I have a meeting coming up, so I am going to call it a day at this point. Um, and uh, if you missed your chance, I'll keep an eye out for you next time. I promise you I do my best. Uh, but uh, we'll stop there for now. Uh, thank you so much, volunteers. Thank you so much, everybody, for sharing your energy and your time with me and your friendly behavior. Uh, click on that big red button that's just right above my head there to join the premium outs package and if you didn't get a chance to practice with me practice with your peers that uh, chat interface is for everybody if you're having difficulties connecting try to figure out why that is so that you can join in the next class with me okay uh, general out students uh, gltshelp.com green background okay aehelp.com blue background click the red button to join the premium IELTS we're here to help you succeed on the IELTS, in communication, and in life, we hope. I'll be back Thursday with speaking part one. Until then, use the resources on the websites, ahelp.com, gltshelp.com. Thank you, members. Thank you, everybody, for watching. 
keep up the positive vibes and being friendly spreads happiness and joy to the world. Sometimes it's most important when we're feeling down and uh, pessimistic to put that smile on and push forward. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from beautiful Victoria here in Western Canada. Wishing you all a great rest of your weekend. Bye for now.